cover letters. You know the basics. Formal business letter layout. My address top right. Introduction, sign off. Their address top left. Why you, why them, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Everybody else knows this too. Sure, there are some rules, but here are three ways you can make your cover letter stand out. For the right reasons. Tip one, be specific, not generic. I'm a big fan of your shows. Are you? Are you really? This line tells me nothing, just that it's what you think I want to hear. How about something different? I've long been a fan of your outputs, including your recent documentary about badgers in Worcestershire and the Coles. This did a really good job of highlighting awareness of this issue. Better. Now let's try another example. I have great attention to detail and I'm a strong team player. Isn't everyone? <sighs> OK, OK. A recent group project at university, um, it gave me an opportunity to share ideas with my peers and I was tasked with organising the group and delegating roles. Better again. Let's move on to point two. Apply your skills and experiences to the role in company. But you know what the job is. Sure, I do. Do you? So, this experience would prove useful when working with the pre-production team to schedule shoots and talk to contributors? Thank you. Now I'm starting to think this person knows what we're looking for. But isn't it lazy using words from the job description? No, as long as you don't overdo it. It's a smart move that shows you've thought about how you could fit in. Great, so I need to be specific about the company, why I want to go there, and translate my experiences to their organisation. Exactly. But there's one more thing I want to mention. Inject some personality. But you never replied to the origami letter that I wrote on green paper. No, I didn't. It's full of generic phrases, has three typos, smells of peppermint, and doesn't even mention the job. No. By injecting some personality, I meant making sure that the letter sounds like you and that the reader can feel how enthused you are by the opportunity. Oh, I get it. Your show is like totes my fave thing ever, and to work with you would just be like a dream come true. Calm down. I mean, use language effectively and articulate why this matters to you as an individual. OK. Um, I've volunteered for my local wildlife charity for two years. This researcher role offers the perfect opportunity to combine my love of nature with my equal passion for TV production. Now you're talking. So it's a balance between personality and professionalism. Yes, it is. Yes. Ah. Dear sir or madam, are we done here?